you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency, join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with my very special guest, many time guest, the CEO of Ritual Superfoods, a stock that's been on fire, having great success right out of the gates. The CEO, David Kerbel. How are you doing today, David? I'm doing well, Rich. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Very excited to have you on the show. Congratulations on all your success. The stock is up like over 200% um, as we speak today since the IPO. So it's been a huge success so far. And now that you're back on the show, can you tell us a little bit about what's happening with Ritual Foods since you were on last? Sure. Um, we, are, we are on fire. I'll, I'll share that with you and, and your listeners. Um, we are very proud of what we've been able to do. But since we, you and I last spoke in March, we have um, announced our first retail distribution, which is Rite Aid. Rite Aid is a thousand stores throughout uh, the U.S. that will be in over the next uh, couple quarters here. We're getting distribution. We'll be in a thousand of those stores with four of our items. Um, so we feel great about that. We've um, also got commitments with new item codes and new item vendor numbers set up with an additional 1,400 more stores. So when you and I last spoke in March, we we're talking about 2,400 stores and 10,000 points of distribution. By the end of Q2, that's where exactly where we'll be. That's impressive. You guys are just on fire growing so quickly. You guys also announced a partnership with Crossmark for retail growth. Can you go over this news and how this is going to help the company's overall growth? Sure. In full disclosure, I was an executive at Crossmark. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, 2000, 1999 through 2008 or nine. And uh, we, we, I love my time there. Crossmark is one of the world's largest sales agencies and brand enablers. They deal with companies like Procter & Gamble and Reckitt Ben Kieser and Johnson & Johnson and now Ritual Superfoods. And the rationale behind that is, is that they're going to take our brand with our team and accelerate our growth. So as we just discussed, 10,000 points of distribution uh, this year, that was pre-Crossmark. What we're really shooting for right now is 40,000 points of distribution, not within this calendar year, but certainly within our line of sight with Crossmark. They've got 25,000 sales folks strong. They've got all the consumer data and analytics that we need to enable us to really accelerate our brand even further growth. So we're very excited by the partnership with them. That's impressive. Now, there was also a big announcement that Ritual appointed Sartin Molnar Fenton as Vice President of Sales for America. Can you tell us about Sartin and what he brings to the table? Sure. And Sartin is um, a pro's pro. The analytics, the understanding of what it takes to do business, the real approach to get it done with a sense of urgency, that's what, what's what Sartin's all about. The interesting thing is, again, I go back to, we just talked about Crossmark and my time there. Sartin and I also worked together at Celsius. So we've been there together. We've put a plan of action together and we've successfully managed through the retail brick and mortar strategy to enable growth, quick growth in Celsius's part, I think even bigger growth and a bigger up, upside opportunity with Ritual. I really do. That's exciting. <laughs> and I know investors are loving that because they're already up and having great success. And we're literally just in the first inning. Now, with all of your experience, and we've talked a little bit on, you know, your experience in rolling out new products to market, what would you say is the biggest challenge and how is Ritual taking on that challenge? Yeah, and it's a, it's a good question that you ask. And really to think that through, the, the questions and the challenges that we, we would typically face in a company our size, in a company our um, age, we've already answered those questions internally. So I want to share this with you. It doesn't sound like it's cocky because it's not. It's the truth. We've put together this team with a hundred year CPG experience. So we know that 
We've got supply chain figured out. We know we've got innovation pipeline figured out. We've got our ear to the ground. We know now with Sartan and Crossmark, we've got a team within the U.S. that understands the customers. So I'd have to say, I don't lose sleep any night. I know that the team has it covered. Every situation that we could possibly um, uh, be struck with, we've got an answer we like to talk in our in our meetings, we talk about having the question, the answers to the question before they're asked. And that's how I feel we are with the team we have got at Ritual. That's impressive. And at the end of the day, you're only as good as your team. I always say you're only as strong as your weakest link. And if you don't have any weak links and you have very <laughs> successful, strong members that don't need to be told what to do, everyone mm-hmm. just goes and goes to work every day. There you go the results can be, you can literally move mountains, right? When you work with the team and you guys have already shown that. I mean, you guys were growing in a market where the entire small caps were going down. You're one of the only companies that were going up when all the small caps were going down. So that alone is impressive. And now the small caps are starting to come back. So I think that this is going to be a great time for Ritual over the next six to 12 months. Now, what are some of the notable brands in this growing superfood industry? And how is Ritual positioning itself in this industry? It's another really good question. And, and one that, you know, I look at a comparable today and I look at Laird Superfoods and they're a wonderful company and they're a publicly traded company on NASDAQ. And I think they've done a lot of good things. But I was looking as a public company, I was looking at their Q4 um, objectives for 2021, Q4 2020 for 2021. And their objective is to be in 20,000 points of distribution, um, again, in the ninth year of of being in the business to get to 20,000 points. Let me say this straight out to you, Rich. We're going to be in 20,000 points of distribution by the end of this year. So I feel that they're comparable. They've got a lot more SKUs than we do. We're going to be delivering with our innovation pipeline more uh, varied uh, products that I can't share right now. I wish I could. We could talk all day about it. But I feel that we'll be within our current base in 20,000 points of distribution by the end of this calendar year. That is absolutely impressive. And in my opinion, this will be extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed if you're able to hit those targets. And comparing yourselves to a company that's already on the NASDAQ, I mean, that's that's a fantastic, fantastic goal for you guys as a small micro cap company to set that literally just started a month ago. So yeah. now in saying that, in order to get to the next level, we've actually seen a few companies recently move to the NASDAQ and gain enormous institutional investment and the stocks have exploded. What is your plan to gain more institutional investment? Well, it's it's talking to you. Um, it's getting the word out there, but it's also something that what we'll, we'll be doing is continually communicating as we get products into retail. So as Rite Aid and the two other customers I'm dying to share with you, but I can't right now, uh, that make up those 2,400 stores and those 10,000 points of distribution that seven months ago we talked about, that was our aspirational goal, we're there. When we start talking about and communicating our successes, when we start taking pictures of the product in the store, when we start reporting our revenue results, I think that institutional investors are going to take a look at our results a look at our growth, a look at our real defined conservative. We think it's a conservative measure, even though those numbers that we just shared are, are, are comparable to companies that, that have market caps of three or $400 million. We feel very good at what we do. I feel that the institutional investors, as they look at us and as they measure our successes, they'll see that we're righteous, we're proud, but we do what we say we're going to do. I've been very impressed. I've been very impressed with everything. So far, the team that I've met and spoken to, every single member is hitting their points. They, they know their job. They know their role. And that is extremely important to building a business. And I've seen this. I've interviewed hundreds of companies. I've seen many companies say they were going to do something. And some of them do. And the ones that say they're going to do something and then deliver 
they're like rockets. <laughs> I've seen them just be rockets. And I, and I see you guys following in those footsteps. And that's why I've been telling our community since day one that I'm really, really impressed with Ritual Foods. In fact, I did a top 10 list for April. I put you on the list. All right. And, and I'm not, I'm, and I'm super happy that I did because you guys have been one of the top performers out of all the different companies that we've interviewed. Last week, we interviewed 14 companies just last week. So when you're one of the top 10 companies that we're talking about, and we're talking with so many companies, that's, that's a lot of success in itself. And you guys are just getting started. So if there is anything else that you would like to have the shareholders know today about Ritual Foods, what would it be? You ain't seen nothing yet. I like that. <laughs> I like that short and it's, simple. It's it, um, partner. You ain't seen nothing yet. We're just getting started with this. It's going to be a rocket ship ride. I love it. I love it. You're speaking my language. And I know that our shareholders in our community all over the world is going to love hearing that. And I know they've already loved this rocket. Now, I'm sure shareholders will continue to have a lot of questions about Ritual Foods. And as you guys continue to grow and you guys continue to put out news, what is the best way for them to get in touch with the company? Um, there are two ways. Uh, investors at weareritual2rs.com or they can email me directly at david at weareritual.com. Fantastic. Now, thank you so much for your time today, David. It's been a pleasure. So excited to watch you guys continue to grow and evolve. I just want to remind all the viewers that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please consult your financial advisor before you make any investments in any companies that we interview or talk about on our show. Chances are, if you do speak to a financial advisor, the financial advisor is going to be very impressed with Ritual Foods. You guys have a super tight share structure, which to me is vital. You guys are a growing company, growing revenue, strong management team. And like you said yourself, you're just getting started and you're going to be in thousands of points of sale. So in my opinion, this is a company, like I said before, that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Thank you for joining the show. If you guys like this video, for those of you that are watching, please smash the like button. It allows the video to go more viral, allows more people to see the video, comment on the video, share your ideas. I'll do my best to get that information back to David. And David, once again, Thank you for joining us on our show. Pleasure. Thank you for joining us. David Kerbel, the CEO of Ritual Superfoods. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is Rich from Rich to be Live. Have a nice day, everybody.